Alright guys, what is going on? Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to go for a high ball. This is a question I've got asked in a previous video that I made and you know it's something that as an outside back, as a fullback, a winger, you know anyone on the field really needs to be able to take a high ball. <laughs> There's nothing that gets the heart racing more than being not confident underneath a ball that you know you've got to catch and you know what happens when you drop it you feel like shit and it, and it, it sets the tone for the game and you might lose your confidence etc etc so these tips are going to be on how i take a high ball as safely as possible and hopefully you can get something out of it and incorporate it into your game So basically guys, there's four, four major keys to taking a high ball successfully, I believe. Number one is going to be how you, you know, explode into the air, okay? You're going to want to really use that force behind your body, behind your knee coming up into the air to give you that propulsion to jump up and get above the other attackers and the other defenders to take that high ball first. Number two is going to be actually how you catch the ball in the hands, you know, close to the chest. I'll get into that in a second. Number three is going to be what you do in the air. So as you jump up, you're actually going to want to slightly try and twist to come down with your back to the defenders, but I'll get into that in a second. Number four is going to be how you use the space and how you use your fellow teammates to actually help protect that ball and protect you from the oncoming defenders. So let's get into tip number one, all right? First tip is going to be actually how you propel yourself into the air, okay? You're going to be propelling yourself with one leg and both hands to put yourself in a good position to get above the other players to actually take the ball. So with that said, my strongest foot, my strongest leg is my right leg, so I'm going to power myself up into the air with my right leg. And to practice this guys, I mean just go like this, you're going to want to for practice, don't worry about using two hands, just use one hand, all right? You're gonna to wanna to use the opposite hand to the leg that's coming up. So my right leg will come up and my left hand will come up. So it's something like this. But of course, you don't wanna go into it half-heartedly. So if you really wanna get high in the air, you're gonna to have to put some effort behind it. So it's gonna be something like this. Okay, so with that said, how are we going to actually take the ball in the air? So we're going to want to try and time our jump so we catch the ball at the highest point of our jump. But when we get there, how are we actually going to take the ball? Well, it's pretty easy to explain and I think you guys are going to get it pretty easily. Okay, as we go up in the air, we're going to lead with our foot. We're not just going to have one arm come up, we're going to have both arms come up, okay? So the actual technique is going to be something like this. So as we come up with that leg, we're going to bring both hands up like this. Okay? So it's like... And obviously we're doing that because we're going to be taking the ball into this area here, between both of our hands and the chest. So it's something like this. Okay, leg in the air, take it on the chest. Obviously rugby ball is not easy to take, okay? It's not going to be in the perfect direction every time. So what you want to do, you want to make that as big as possible. Bring it in, bring it in, and then boom, really take it in nice and solidly on the chest. All right, so we've got that. Now what you're going to want to do also, the third part of it, is twisting in the air. So go up for the ball, 
the last thing you want to, going to want to do is come right back down and be hit, boom, straight in the fucking chest, straight in the ribs by the defender, okay? So if we can just apply a slight 180 twist, or even a 90 degree twist as we catch the ball, it's going to allow us to come back down with our back or our side to the defender, decreasing the risk of injury, increasing the chance of retaining the ball. So with that said, it's something like this. Last thing I want to say is if you're game enough to catch it above your head like this, like an AFL style catch like this, rather than actually bring it down into the chest, that is going to give you, well, how much more reach, okay? You can either take it to the chest like this or you can take it right up here. So it's going to give you that extra length of your arm above the other defenders and attackers. So, you know, with that said, obviously, if you want to get the highest in the air, you're going to want to actually catch it like that. But if the ball is really high and it's coming down fast, it's going to be extremely hard to catch it like that. You're going to have to be really, really skillful or really lucky. I wouldn't recommend that at all times, but obviously if you've got a heaps of heaps of people going up for it, you're over the try line or something, you just want to get, get the ball, you don't care about the risk of dropping it, fucking go for the AFL style catch. Finally guys, just a quick message from me to you. Be safe on the field, alright, be safe. If you think you're going to get injured by going up for this ball, don't do it. Don't do it. Let the, op let the opposition fucking catch it. They might even drop it anyway, and then it will be your knock on. How many times does that happen? You know, catching the high ball at the best of times is not easy, alright. It's relatively easy when it's like that. What if the ball's like that? Or what if it's fucking like this? Or like that? Or like this? You know, you never know what the fucking ball is going to do in the air. All you can do is use these tips to put yourself in the best position to take the ball and move on from there. This is just my, my two cents to you guys. I play fullback, I play wing, I've caught the ball many times. It still gets my heart racing at the best of times, so I hope I've helped you guys. Peace out, subscribe for more, plenty more videos coming. Rugby is a fantastic game. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Stop me, I'm all the way up. Hey.